When someone demands Ann Coulter to kneel before them, I'm thinking Ann might have a thing or two to say. Ann, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Hello, Larry. What do you make of this? It's creepy as hell. Uh, it's extremely creepy, um, though I sort of think the protesters are being scammed, and this is um, the cops. You remember the OK signal that some um, groipers persuaded? <laughs> persuaded. Oh, yeah, if you use the OK York, signal, it really means WP for white power. <laughs> yes. the OK yeah, and the P signal means two genders. Um, so <laughs> you, you can get actresses going crazy on Twitter whenever anybody did the OK or the peace signal. Um, I think this dropping to the knees is, is like this secret tribute to the officer who kneeled on on um, George Floyd. It's a very, very odd oh protest. I much, much prefer the one of the, um, of the idiot actresses shaving their heads bald, um, which was yes. done to French women who collaborated with the Nazis, incidentally. So it's perfectly appropriate um, that, that white women shave their heads to show their support for Black Lives Matter. What I hate about this, um, you know, apart from the total destruction of half a dozen cities in the United States, um, which won't come back. I mean, look look at Detroit, as I have discussed before, um, the most beautiful city, the gem of the United States. <laughs> what is it now? It's one step above Newark. The idea that things that just come back after riots is false. Um, you come back after a 9-11 terrorist attack. You don't come back after after riots. Um, but what was I saying? It was something very important I was driving to. Uh, we, were, we were talking about this whole trend of, uh, of kneeling and things. You said, but what really angers you about all of this? Oh, the grandstanding. Yeah. Uh. I mean, it's so cost-free. Is there anyone out there defending this cop? Right. I've never seen such a lopsided debate. Every single conservative president, the attorney general, which, by the way, I think is completely inappropriate to have an attorney general calling a video, um, what we saw in that video, harrowing, and I forget what his other word was. It, could, could we have the trial first? Man, talk about putting your finger on the scale. We're supposed to have, have you know, innocent until proved guilty in in this country. I admit that video doesn't look good, but I'm not attorney general, and I'm not calling a press conference about it. Let the justice system play out. Um, something I, I mentioned in my column this week, reminding everyone about how um, there was um, the Rodney judgment. King video. Yeah. The Rodney King video, and it turned out the media was withholding a crucial 13 seconds. That's why the officers were acquitted. Everyone who sat through the trial, including Harvard-educated liberals, report, legal reporters, said um, that they were embarrassed to admit it. I'm afraid as I write these words that, yeah, of course the officers should have um, been acquitted. Um, no one knew what happened before those those 60 seconds that were played on TV over and over and over again. So I'm thinking we wait we wait to see all the facts. Um, but but I, I may be the only person in America saying that. Uh, so so where's the bravery? Yeah. <laughs> in going out there and saying you oppose this, there's no one on the other side. I'm right. sorry, that's not bravery. That's called grandstanding. Well, and, and, and it does call into question. I mean, I was asking this at the beginning of the week. It's like you're saying no justice, no peace, and you're marching for this. Well, we, this is justice. The cops have been arrested. We will have a trial. There is no cover-up. There actually is transparency. But we learn the reason that they continue to march and protest is because this is a political thing. Obviously, they want to defund fund the police. And, and what's amazing is anytime a mayor or an elected official does anything to supplicate themselves to their demands, it's never enough. Mayor Garcetti in Los Angeles says he's going to cut $150 million from the budget. Not good enough. Mayor Bowser in D.C. just painted Black Lives Matter in giant letters across the street in downtown D.C. And they're hammering her because she's never really been on the side of Black Lives Matter. There's never enough to quell the mob in the streets. No, coincidentally, I wrote a book about mobs called Demonic. They are always demonic. They are, and it is, it is the the shock troops of the Democratic Party. Um, and no, you can never reason with a mob. Um, that's why Democrats like them so much. Their their beliefs <laughs> and philosophy are not particularly based on reason. Um, they're irrational, um, nation destroying 
Look at France after the French Revolution. That's where I think it all began. Um, and the liberals, the, that is the hallmark of, of the left. Um, that model went to the Soviet Union and to Cuba um, and to Cambodia, and they're trying to bring it to this country now. Um, but Anne, why, why, just how can the Democrats... Um, sorry, go ahead. Well, don't you think the Democrats should by now learn the historic lesson of how America reacts to this? You look at 68, you look at 72, probably uh, two of the most violent years in terms of, of unrest in the streets of, of this country, and both times the American voter says, yeah, we don't want anything to do with a party that aligns themselves with these lunatics. Yes. We're going Nixon, you know? Yes, yes, and I, although I've been... Um, a little testy with Trump for allowing cities to burn. Like I say, a lot of them aren't going to be coming back. How would you like to live in Ferguson these days? It doesn't matter how much money gets poured into these cities. They are, they are gone, gone, gone. Um, and I think it's outrageous. I mean, we elected Trump for a reason. He's the first time in all of the examples you can think of when pe how the voters responded after something horrible. Um, the reason they voted for a Republican was because the Republican wasn't the guy in power. You can, you can tweet out all caps law and order when you're not the president. When you're the president and you're not doing anything, on the other hand, Democrats, as you say, aren't taking advantage of this. As always, every day is a replay of the point of my, my last book, Resistance is Futile. Trump does something um, stupid and embarrassing, and then the Democrats say to themselves, wait, we can do something even more stupid and embarrassing. <laughs> well, because their opposition to Trump overrides anything that they're actually for. I couldn't tell you what they are for at this point, because Trump has so gotten into their head on that, in my opinion. Uh, and r real fast, when you say, what would you have the president do right now? Um, the night a police station in the United States of America was burnt to the ground with the cops fleeing, I would have sent in the National Guard. I would have federalized the National Guard, gotten control of these cities. It would have been over in 24 hours. So the Insurrection Act triggered right then and there, not not allow for federalism and the governor to, to you know the make their decisions, Court even if they're going to screw it up. The Supreme Court has held over and over and over again that the National Guard, it's, it's like, uh, for, for the Christians out there, it's like the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, the National Guard is all three things at once, um, under the president's control, under the state's control, and also a militia. But whichever one, the moment the president says they're under my control, they are 100% under his control. You're not, it's actually not like the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, because it's one or the other. You put on one hat, and the night, I, I, a police station in the United States, what are we, Latin America? No, he let well. the fires rage, and most appallingly, um, according to reports, because he thought, oh, this will help my re-election. I'm sorry to say, I think it, well, I'm kind of happy to say, um, because I'm terrified of Democrats, yeah, it probably will help this election, but it's appalling nonetheless. All right, we will leave it there. It's always good to talk to you, my friend. I hope you have a good weekend. You too. Bye, Larry. That's Ann Coulter, annculture.com. It's 4.30.